You see, my vision is minus 10. It's bad, right? Because I use too much phone. And because I wasn't wearing my glasses earlier and couldn't see anything. Don't worry. You say trying your best to convince him that you didn't see him changing his shirt in front of you. Neither you saw your name tattooed on his chest nor his abs. You saw nothing. Oh, really? But I think you are perfectly fine now because you can see everything and that to be without wearing glasses. So what's so special that you didn't see anything earlier? Nothing, it's just I don't want to see anything. I even covered my eyes when I saw you without shirt. And if you don't believe me, then I can swear you. You said and was about to put your hand on his head but he stopped you making you press your lips together and you sat back on the couch, a meter away from him. He signed. I'm fully aware how you close your eyes. I never saw someone as perverted as you. You look down to control your smile but couldn't able to and smile a little making him scoff. You are really so shameless. It's just been a month since you both get married but feels like years. It's arranged marriage as your father and his dad were friends or more like partners in crime as they both are the biggest mafia of Asia. First when you saw Jungkook photo you thought that he is a nice guy. His thought might be different from his father, just like how your thoughts are different from your dad. But when you meet him, then you get to know that the bloody hand who is like a dad to everyone is none other than John Jungkook, the one whom you are getting married. First you donate to marry him. That triggers his anger because no one had the strength to even look at him and you directly rejected him. But your rejection was ignored just like how the middle child got ignored in their family. And you got married to him. The first few days you used to be scared of him, the way his dark ops look at everyone, the way he used to scold his guards. Everything about him used to flinch you, but not after the day when you saw him getting shy on a compliment you give him. From that day you get to know that he looks scary but also had a soft side hidden inside him. He is so soft and loving and he shows his love and care all to you. He just can't confess his love to you or else his action speaks better. His eyes never lie. And his care never let you feel like you are not loved by him. The only thing left is being comfortable around each other. He is a mafia and your husband, but still feel shy to change his clothes in front of you. Come on, he is a boy. Nothing will happen even if he walks shirtless in the whole mansion. But he is different from everyone. And maybe that's the reason why you like to tease him even more. Jungkook looked at you while you press your lips together to stop yourself from smiling but as soon as your mind flashes his bare, well-built body, you smiled. He scoffed. You really got no shame. You are really so weird. Weird and me. It's you, mister. You are a man and you can walk shirtless anywhere. Even my dad never feels shy to walk around without a shirt. Don't worry about me thinking that I will feel uncomfortable. I am used to all this. Now don't be shy. You said rubbing his back while he looked at you with his serious look but you can see his cheeks standing red. He is really cute with you but totally changed when he is out or with someone else. You saw everything, didn't you? He said looking at you while you smiled slightly and shook your head as if you really didn't see anything. Looking around, you saw your glasses and wear them, making him chuckle. You think you are fooling him while he already knows that last year you already had a laser treatment for your eyes. I really didn't see anything. You said and pointed to your glasses while he scoffed, making you chuckle slightly. Don't lie when you know that you are not good in that. You got up and shrugged your shoulder while he looked up at you, raising his brows. Smiling slightly, you looked at him and leaned a little closer to his ear, making his heart beat almost stop by your sudden action. 
You are well aware why he is shy over such a small thing. Don't worry, I didn't see my name tattooed on your chest. You said and kissed his cheek. Have you ever seen a mafia getting nervous over anything? Then here he is. No matter how hard a man show himself, but always melt on the action of the woman he loved the most. You giggle, looking at his red face and walk towards the kitchen. As it's already the time of making dinner, he scoff and put his hand on his chest. Is she trying to seduce me with her smile? I she got the power. He said and touched his cheek where you kissed him and smiled slightly. That's the first interaction of you both after the marriage. And now he knows why his married friend used to say that life become more beautiful when you marry someone you don't know. It give you a chance to feel lots of emotions you are not even aware of. Sankuk, you want eggs in your ramen or not? You said peeking from the kitchen while he looked at you and chuckled as you were looking so cute even when you were in a mess. Your hair tied in a messy bun and your white shirt is now all colorful and hands were busy grabbing all the veggies at once. That made him smile. You sighed when you found him zooming out again. You never understand what he think to get zoom out again and again. What if he ever zoomed out like this in the middle of the mission? That's why you used to be scared a lot every time he said that he is going for the mission. You take a piece of broccoli and hit him with that. He flinched back in reality and looked at you while you signed. Eggs or not? Oh yes, yes, I want eggs. You chuckle as he massages temple. Might be so tired of you or maybe his work as he come back from his mission just in the afternoon and then you started to eat his head. But you are so happy that he come back all safe. You take a deep breath and started to cook while he lay down on the couch looking at the ceiling. What's wrong going on with you, Johnson Cook? Should I help you with something? He asks as he put his plate in the sink. You looked at him and shook your head smiling. You are too innocent to know that what your smile is doing to him. But whenever you smile, he falls in love with you more and more. I will do the work by myself as that's not too much. You go and have some rest. You might be tired after the mission, right? Take some rest. No one will disturb you. And don't forget to leave your cell phone downstairs or just forget about taking even a single minute rest. He chuckled. You are the greatest enemy of his phone. You never like when it rings. He looked at you and then his eyes fall on your shirt which was all wet because you washed the utensils a while ago. You are so clumsy. Never do anything without trimming your clothes. You follow his eyes on your shirt and smile slightly while dusting the dirt from it. I will change that later. I always ruin my clothes while working. You sit and smile awkwardly at him while he signed and took the apron from the drawer. He made you wear it making your heart skip its beat. You looked at him but his eyes were fixed down fixing your apron. His hands again come in contact with your shoulder as you feel a shiver run to your body. He turned you around and started to tie a knot in the apron. That's why people made aprons. If you are clumsy to room your dress, then wear this. But I think you keep it for a showcase. If you walk around like this with wet clothes, then it will make you sick. Then would you like to stay in bed all day? Nothing happened like this. And before you could say anything, you sneeze again. You looked at him and chuckled while he scoffed and slightly hit your head with his knuckles. You smile at him. He always treat you like a child which you like the most because you need someone who understand your childish nature not to judge you by your age. Now will you deny this too? I'm sorry, I will take care of myself from now on and it just normal sneeze and everyone got this. 
you go and take rest or else you will get sick because of overwork and remember that mom called us to meet her so we have to wake up early in the morning now go oh yes i totally forgot that by the way did she call you again he's looking at you with a little serious face which you just shook your head no why did something happen everything is okay there right no everything is fine it just i'm not in the mood to drive that long it's so tiring he said and walked towards the room while stretching his arms and yawning you chuckled looking at him seeing him disappearing behind the walls you sighed i just had one heart and this man wins it every time with his actions you said and look at the apron he made you wear You walk inside the room tiredly and throw your tired body on the couch. It take you one hour to clean the kitchen, and it's your mistake. As you were just about to finish with the cleaning, but at last you drop the container of sugar, and the thing messed up again. Your clumsiness always put you in problems. You always think why you are like this. Always create problem for yourself. You sign and suddenly sneeze two times continuously making you realize that your shirt is still wet and you have to change it as you can't sleep like this if you don't want to end up in the bed for a week you have already decided that you are not taking a shot today as one day won't harm anything and you are too lazy to do that actually you are too lazy to do anything you turn your face and looked at Jungkook sleeping peacefully He looked a little relaxed now. Must be tired a lot. You are tired too. You slightly raised your head and brushed his hair back. Smiling a little, you slid your body a little closer to him and smiled. John Jungkook, you even know how handsome you are. If I want, then I can admire you the whole day like this. But sadly, you spend most of your time at work. I miss you all day so much, but I don't know what happened when it really comes to talk to you. My heart started to beat faster. You really have a great effect on me. You said and slightly put his shirt down a little as the first two button of his shirt were already open, and there you saw your name tattooed near his heart. It really makes you feel so special. You softly kiss there and kisses it lovingly. It might hurt a lot, but you had so many. It wasn't right. And you again feel like sneezing. You quickly got up and sneezed two, three times. You rub your nose as you feel ticklish inside. I think it's getting serious. I should change my shirt. Should I change it here? He is sleeping and it won't take time. I don't want to go in the washroom. Changing it here will be more comfortable. You walk towards your closet and take out another shirt for yourself as you always feel so comfortable in wearing something so light and comfortable at night. You sign and look back when more than just to confirm that he is sleeping. Of course you both are not so comfortable with each other to change your clothes in front of each other. You think twice before choosing this option. But he seems to be sleeping so peacefully. You are really feeling so shy doing such thing in his presence. As long as you are thinking, you will change your clothes too. You said and quickly take off your shirt and slide another one quickly. You do it as quick as you can. It hardly takes more than two minutes to the whole process. Taking a deep breath, you walk to the mirror and started to button up your shirt. But your eyes weren't on the mirror, and your eyes weren't when you see Jungkook looking at you. What the hell! You scream, almost tearing his ears, and he shakes them a little and look at you. You quickly cover your body with the shirt. He scoffed. Why are you behaving like you saw a ghost? When you wake up, when was I sleeping? He said, leaving you all confused. He was not sleeping. That means. Not just you changing clothes, but he heard everything you said, and then from the start of you entered in this room. You gulp. It's embarrassing. More than you changing clothes in front of him, the kiss, the way you talk. Now you just want to dig a hole for yourself and hide in there until he forgot what happened today. 
You were so lost in your thoughts that you never realized when he walked to you. You looked at him. Keeping your hands aside, he started to button up your shirt. Now you don't even have strength to look in his eyes. It's a crime to see someone changing. You should tell me that you were awake. Wow, really? You have the whole right to walk inside when I am changing and admire my body shamelessly. But when I do the same, it's a crime. That's not fair. That was an accident. I didn't mean to look at you like that. But you do all this knowingly. You knew that I was going to change here, but you didn't care to stop me. Really? Then what's that you did before? Kissing me and... And before he could say anything further, you cut him in the middle. Forgot everything what I said and what I did. Even forgot what you see. Oh, uh, but will you be able to forget what you see in the evening? He said raising his brows and again your mind flashes that torn abs of his. You close your eyes biting your lower lip. He chuckled. You don't have to feel shy. After all, we both are husband and wife. It's normal, isn't it? Maybe for you, but not for me. You sit and try to escape from there, but then you realize you are trapped in his arms as he was standing placing his both hands on the mirror. You looked at him and he chuckled, leaning closer to you. He is surely taking the revenge of what you did with him. You are taking the revenge from me, right? No baby girl, I am not that type of man. By the way, you really think that I am handsome and you can admire me all day? I can give you my all time if you want. He said making you sure that he really heard everything. Your face turned all red and you tightly pressed the lips together, getting down a little. You find the way to go out. You bend down and walk out from under his hands. Yes, you are handsome. You whisper and quickly run to the bed so that he won't caught you again. He chuckled and looked at you who lay down in the bed, covering herself with a blanket. You are pretty too. He compliments you and your face then all red. Good night. You ended this conversation here and pull the sheet above your head as your face is so red by now. He looked at you and laughed on your cuteness.